Us are ready for 2020 to be over. January 1st, 2021 marks an even tougher reality for families who've fallen behind on rent because of the pandemic. A federal eviction moratorium issued by the CDC will expire at the end of the year, and that could have a major effect on children. So this morning we're asking, should the federal eviction moratorium be extended? Yes or no? You can vote now at 12news.com slash bullhorn. So a big issue here is the connection between evictions and education. Data from the National Center for Homeless Education linked child homelessness to poor school attendance. One report suggests homeless children are chronically absent twice as often compared to the overall student population, and that could have major long-term impacts. The executive director for the nonprofit Schoolhouse Connection, which advocates overcoming homelessness through education, told 60 Minutes, quote, children are missing out, there we go, on their education now greatly increases their chances of being homeless when they grow up, so the cycle of homelessness can continue into adulthood. Well, here in Arizona, the Governor Ducey's executive order placing a moratorium on evictions expired last month. Renters could still get help from that national program, but again, that will expire in less than two months. In both cases, Tenants could be forced to pay back all the months in rent they've missed, adding up to nearly a year's worth of living expenses all at once. Not to mention, though, that there's the fact that eviction could affect your ability to rent elsewhere for years. So it's not just as easy as finding a new place to go. Worst case scenario, staying with friends and family, further complicated by the health side of the pandemic. So we want to know what you think. Should the federal eviction moratorium be expanded? Here's what some of you had to say this morning. Let's take a look at some of the responses. Simply put, from Walker, yes. And then we have another response here from Edna, who says no. Um, and then Dana here says no. People all got all that money to pay bills, not buy clothes, et cetera. It's their fault if they didn't pay their bills. So continue to weigh in on this one. At this point this morning, we've got about 86% of you saying, yes, you do think there should be an extension on this. So keep weighing in throughout the morning. If you haven't voted yet, just head on over to 12news.com bullhorn, or you can vote on our 12 News app.